Hello and welcome. You're watching Home vs. House. I'm Lisa and this is a channel where I share budget-friendly home decor and lifestyle ideas. Guys, today I, I thought I would come on and share how I'm developing my backyard space into a garden to include some garden rooms as well as an edible uh, garden area. So let's get started um, as I take you around. So this first space is what I consider like a living room, a lounge area of my backyard and it's just off my patio. So this seating arrangement was a DIY project that I made using um, two wooden crates on the inside and then I just used some lumber that I got from the ReStore um, a while back and I just had it sitting in my garage. Um, I used it to kind of encase the um, the wooden crate to create the seating arrangement. And then I use throw pillows and uh, a combination of indoor and outdoor ones that I already had in my stash. So for this um, kind of development so far, I for the decorative pieces, I've just used things that I had on hand and I didn't go out and purchase anything new for the decorative, the decorative aspect of um, this space, at least so far. Um, so let's see. And then I, I, um, I just created this really nice um, nook um, that I've been enjoying for a couple of weeks now where I just sit out here and have some um, some tea, um, whether cold or hot, depending on the time of the day. Um, and uh, here I have some mint tea and the peppermint was um, also came from my garden on the side actually um, of my home. So, yep, really nice, cozy space, guys, uh, to enjoy. Um, I've even sat out here in the latter part of the mornings, and even with the sun being hot, it is a cool spot um, in my backyard, so I, I appreciate that. And then here I just created this kind of border um, with some metal wall um, hangings that I had. Um, that I had picked up thrifted uh, many years ago. And then I used some plants. My plants I've already had. They're a combination of indoor plants and some outdoor plants. This right here is my indoor spider plant and it's sitting in my fire pit that I'm using as a plant holder. And I hope for the fall season to build that fire um, pit up um, to... Uh, to look a little different but for now that's it works um, and I really like it in this space and then I just have um, a thrifted um, little um, holder thing that I'm holding some wood or some firewood guys so the the ground cover i used here are a combination of some river rocks pea gravel and then some other rocks that i um that i had so it's a combination i purchased some and then i also had some in other areas that i just kind of moved over here and um, this is my strawberry plant so this came back from last year and i even see that there's some little bitty um strawberries on it so i um i'm looking forward to adding that to my salad here guys what else? I think the strawberry is the only edible section that I have here. So, yep, yeah, this is my little lounge area. And then I use these metal um, wall decor pieces that were thrifted many years ago. I used it in this space as well. Um, this is another spider plant that I am trying to revive. I had put it out in the earlier, um, in the colder um, times of the year and it Got some frostbite, so I'm trying to revive it. All right, here's another um, decorative piece that I've had for quite some time. And then, guys, this second room, so to speak, is my dining area, and this is on my back patio. Um, I this table, I it was a DIY project that I did using some like siding um, pieces of wood that I got from the restore a while back. It's over 
a table that I had, a small kind of side table that I had. I'm using the legs to that and I just attached the wood to that table to create this dining um, table here that I really like. I also use it as like my potting table and things like that. But um, so it's multifunctional. Um, and then I just have some thrifted dishes um, and my DIY napkin. Um, and I I chose the, some floral pieces just to add to the garden ambience here. Um, I'm also using a pop of blue in this space. So I've been kind of fascinated with blues for uh, for the summer, which I haven't. I usually use blue in my space for winter, but I'm exploring the summer look of blue this year. Um, this uh, outdoor rug I picked up from Walmart at the end of the season last year. And then my four, these are four folding um, chairs that I had gotten from a friend of mine probably over four years ago I was sitting in my garage guys so underneath my steps I just have my uh, smoker here um, slash grill and then I just use some of that rocks the combination of pea gravel and river rocks and so to um, just go around the patio area at least the these two corners or sides of it. And then out in the grassy area, that's where my dog kind of, you know, um, run and play for a little bit. Um, so I left that area um, so that he can enjoy. So guys, yeah, that's my second room. So that's my back porch and it's just down um, below of that. So yeah, I really am happy with the way this turned out. This was definitely a thrifty project. Um, lots of DIY and thrifted items and repurposing and just kind of shopping my home um, for the things that I could um, shop my home for. All right, well, let me take you to the garden area um, of this. So I have a few assorted um plants and I'll probably do a plant video next time where I identify some of the plants um, here but um, yeah I just wanted to show you um, how I arrange the plants at least in this video um, a lot of the plants uh, actually all the plants back here are plants that I had in other except for the vegetables um, are plants that I had in my front yard and I recently got a tree a, a tree limb cut off and it opened up um, a sunnier spot so I had to um, move around some plants some shaded plants back in the shaded area here and then I also have some sun um, some plants that um, are sun lovers and I didn't pay attention to it at first and so um, now I've moved it back here where there's more sun. Over here is a um, raised garden that I'm going to do. I didn't plan anything here. I'm just kind of demarcating the pl the spots that I wanted to raise this up for next year to do some vegetables in here. Over in this area, um, I used some cinder blocks that I had on hand um, to create this little space. Um, and then I planted this, a combination of some like um, annuals from seeds as well as some herbs. I think I have basil out here and uh, a couple other basil. I have peppermint um, and then something else I can't remember. And then I have some um, uh, bearded iris that I had in the front um, in my front garden and I moved them over here as well. The cinder blocks and the wood that you're going to see in this space is um, I had that and last year I used that to create a seating arrangement um, on my back porch and this year I've repurposed it. So um, yeah this gate kind of slash area is something that I'm using to just kind of mark off um, the grassy area where my dog um, kind of where he plays around and do his business. 
I had that marked off to like my garden area. And these railings, metal railings, I picked up from my neighbor. My neighbor threw it out. And um, I don't have a, um, my backyard is not fenced in. And so I just kind of used it here as a partial, again, to just kind of separate that space to create this half wall, I suppose. All right, so let's go to like, this is the north side, I guess. This is a DIY bench that I did. And then I moved some of my um, hosta plants um, back here in a more shaded area. So yeah, guys, um, essentially what I did was things that I, I used, things that I had on hand, like I said before, um, most of the... Um, the finance for this project went into the mulch and basically the ground covers and then the plants. And so I just relocated and shift around things. Um, I may get some more shaded plants for this area in uh, maybe next year or so, but this year I just used what I had. This is another kind of um, area, second area um, where I have some dill growing. And then also on the other side, I think some oregano. And then I added some bearded iris here as well too. And yep, just to create this herbal um, garden or semi-herbal garden. And then I have some ajuka here, um, some ground cover that I've just moved from um, the front. I have some corn growing here. Um, the corn seeds I picked up from the library a couple of months ago, free in their um, seed catalog. Here is another area that I'm, I'm going to build up as a raised bed. So the two that I don't really have things planted in, um, I it's strategic because um, my backyard is kind of like on a slope and there's a lot of water when heavy rain comes down to these two areas here. So I want to build them up a little bit in the coming months for maybe next year. So I plan to put some rocks on there and then use the leaves for the fall um, or doing the fall to kind of create a compost and then do a raised bed. Over here is my third room. It's my little coffee room. Um, and I just have this seating set was a thrifted DIY project that I had in my front yard um, and I just moved to this corner here because um, it just fits this space a lot better and then I have um, a plant I think that's a creeping Jenny um, some ground covers that I had up front and I just grabbed a piece and put, stuck it in here just to create this little look so that's my third room guys my um, little coffee, coffee room um, or coffee area or tea area for um, tea drinkers like me. All right. And then over here, I have some sunflower that I'm super excited about. Um, I picked those up um, like four packs of seeds of sunflower seeds, and I just wanted to do sunflower this year. So um, this is one patch, I suppose, and it's growing so nicely. I'm so excited. Let's see what else. Then there's some other little, a little um, cinder block section that I have some wildflowers. I haven't really built that area up yet, um, but that's to come probably next year. And then this is the second sunflower patch that I have over here. Guys, and I decided to use the red mulch. I have red mulch up front and um, in my front yard, and I really like the way it looked. I have red bricks up front, and it looked really pretty. And back here, I was contemplating whether to use the red or darker mulch, but the there's um, the paint of my house in the back. It's this really light, neutral color that I thought I'd 
um, used a red to kind of brighten up that space. And I'm really glad that I did this. Guys, in this third um, bed, I have some, um, I think this is uh, um, cantaloupe seeds that I got from the library. So I see it flowering and I'm expecting to have some cantaloupe here um, in the coming weeks, hopefully. Some more bearded iris plant um, from up front that I planted here a couple of um, weeks ago. And then in this, um, so this area here, I use these cinder blocks. So I picked those about five of them up from the restore. They were like a dollar a piece just to create this um, path here. I'm not sure what I really want to do with it. I'm going back and forth between adding some rocks here as well as some ground covers like Creeping Jenny or um, some other ones. I'm not sure what I'm going to do here, but I knew I wanted some kind of path. So I started with that. And then here is just my um, ugly display of my, um, uh, my heating and um, air conditioning unit. And maybe, um, I don't know, I'm going to do something in that area to maybe hide that space, but that's all I had for now. So I'm like, let me just let it be and I'll figure out what to do with it later. Guys, and so this is how this side, so I'm standing on the on the top of the slope to my to my backyard, and this is what the view looks like um, looking down into these two rooms here. And then this is what the other side, the garden side looks like or the edible garden section look like. So I'm super excited the way how this turned out. And I'm looking forward to in the coming years to develop this even more. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're inspired to do something great um, with your space. Um, if you enjoyed this video, again, give me a thumbs up, a comment or a like, and I will see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.